Hey, what's up? My name's Isaac, but my friends call me Ice. So if you've been paying attention, we've been working on something pretty special. Follow me. And today's the day. Jackson, lights please. Welcome to the Doozy Club. All right, the Doozy Club is an exclusive membership program for those fans who want more. More content, more access, and most importantly, more YKTR. As a member, you'll have access to exclusive content that we will not post anywhere else. Members only merch, invites to special events, monthly giveaway, including cash prizes, dinner with the boys, free YKTR clothes. Plus to sweeten the deal, drum roll please. We're giving away free YKTR clothes for right one year, for one lucky member. I want to build the best community here within Australia and New Zealand period and I want you guys to be a part of it. But don't stress, 90% of our content is always going to be free, but they're 10%. I just want to thank you guys for this past four years, it's been a crazy journey and this is just the next evolution for it. So, welcome to the Doozy Club. What's up YKTR, welcome back to Inside YKTR. Been a minute since we've been on this show, man. Yeah, it's been a long, probably three, four weeks. Three, maybe. four weeks. And a lot can happen in a week here at YKTR, let alone three or four weeks. But we are <laughs> coming to you live from the BSC Content Studios. You would have been hearing a bit about that lately. That's why we're looking so good, because we've got the best supplements in the world, in the building. We will touch on that later on as the well. The Tommy Turbo of supplements. So I've been smacking them in the morning, so they get me through that that little... Been up at 2 up at 2, 2 a.m. this morning, so in yeah. for a big one. You want to know why he's doing 75 days so easy? BSC, BSC, baby. Um, <laughs> we will get to the BSC deal in a little bit, but we have something very special launching tonight. Well, it's launched now. It's like launched. Comes out. <laughs> so yeah, this is going now live at six. But you would have just seen the preview before. But yeah, the Doozy Club is live. <laughs> we're pumped. We're pumped. We're pumped. So the Doozy Club, um, for those or well, for everyone who doesn't know what it is yet, um, it's basically something we've been working, beavering away on behind the scenes for probably about four months. But in terms of an idea, like concept execution, this is something that you sort of mooted before I even got here. I was still sitting in Auckland. Yeah, Zoom calls with you. Oh uh, yeah, we talked about that yesterday with Lukey. Yeah. Still got. I told Lukey to record the Zoom call that me and us three had as well. So, uh, hopefully, we can find that content and dish it out to you. But like Jackson said, it's been in the pipeline for. In my mind, probably about 12 months um, yeah. in terms of trying to actually bundle it all together and what it sort of looks like, um, how it's going to sort of play out. It's been about four months work as well, but yeah, it's officially launched, so I'm really pumped for it. And it's um, a little bit foreign to probably our customer base, but yeah. I pay attention to a lot of the Nalg boys, um, Logan Paul, and they've all got their own versions of it. So it's basically like an OnlyFans of YKTR. Yeah. So we, we're, we're going to show you exclusive content. You guys are going to have opportunities to come potentially hang out with us or um, you can win free YKTR clothes for a year. So that's the big draw card to get everyone in at the start. But we really want to build this diehard fucking community of YKTR fans that we're going to provide experiences for. Yeah, it's cool. It's it's very much um like it, it, it feels like a, you're not going to be getting semi-naked when he says only fans of YKTR, <laughs> but you don't know. It's behind the scenes, so who knows. But um the the Doozy Club is very much an extension of the team, so um it's for anyone who basically fucks with YKTR, loves the content, loves the clothes, loves kind of the events that we're going to be throwing as soon as we can. Um, yeah, sorry, Lukey. <laughs> getting brushed by both of us there. Um, but basically, once you're in the Doozy Club, you're kind of an extension of our team, isn't it? So it's all about access for us. Um, we just want to connect with people that fuck with the brand. So and that's access. That's the key word, access. So it's a club. Like, yeah, we, we get a lot. We get we pump out more content than anyone, and I, I say that respectfully to any other brand. But we do that, and we we're, we're still not operating at a hundred percent. I think. Yep. We still need a few more staff members where we can really start cranking it out. But well, there's so much stuff, like Jackson says, there's so much stuff that happens with YKTR behind behind the scenes. And I've always found that the interesting stuff, whenever you see documentaries come out and say like Justin Bieber or J. Cole are in a, a studio, like yeah. there's going to be, and now we've got Caleb here, we should be having Kevin cameras rolling all the time. So you're going to get that type of access, but not only just that, the event is going to be the cool things as well. Yeah. And this sort of started off the back of, we've done a footy companion and um, Chris Hemsworth, Thor, mm. he was he's part of the Punters Club now. He's a big fan of YKTR. Um, he sort of come in and like, we were just having beers and watching the footy, doing the footy companion. And he always was just, oh, thanks bro, I had like the best night and yeah. um, stuff like that. So you kind of forget how, f how much of an impact this brand has and individually. Um, Magic Round was kind of like the shit we need to get moving yeah. moment. And where the boys rocked up and we were selling out um, like lines, like spaces in 15 minutes yeah. and, and bars going, oh, we haven't sold out that quick before. So that was like the next evolution of that as well. But in between, I've always sort of had this thing of like, I want to 
provide this exclusive club at a really good price where you can win a fuckload of shit. Yeah. And it's gonna be it's gonna be your job and probably Scope's job is gonna be like each month when we do giveaways, like we drop a collection, we're just gonna give away everything. Uh, everything in the collection as well. Yeah. And only member players, only members gonna get part of that um when COVID fucks off and events are gonna be coming and we throw Christmas parties and shit like that. We might just save ten spots for members or twenty or thirty spots for members. So you can come hang out with us and hang out with the boys that we hang around with and sort of stuff like that. Yeah. Um yeah man, it's gonna be cool. One off prizes like We've got we got like we got all the big prizes. So we've got the YKTR for a year when we have the big parties, we're gonna have all the collection giveaways and all that sort of stuff. Behind the scenes content like you mentioned, but like even coming down like that, there's gonna be simple things like you can win dinner with us. We mm. we just go out and have dinner together. You can win whether it's a consulting session with Isaac, a day on the pump with Scope or a fucking bender with Simi, whatever you want to do. Just access, bro. It's just access, access so. community. And like like even like when Caleb come in here that time, like I was like, oh, hey bro, come have a meeting. Mm-hmm. And like like you'd you'd understand this now because we don't really leave the office too much. So we crank out all our shit here. And once you press enter on your laptop, you forget how far your content goes and how much yeah. people you can sort of um, react and touch. But like and even when Caleb come in he gets like he couldn't speak properly because he was just nervous mm. he's like oh fuck like, I'm just nervous bro like I just, I've seen you guys on like YouTube and shit and it's kind of weird because <laughs> like even like football players they go fuck it's weird the type of pool that you have like yeah. even like Den and Kemp for example like people were lining up at the CACs and just to go hang out with them and stuff so yeah. you, you forget how far that impact can go but it's just trying to double down on that and probably the best thing about my position right now and I've always said this is I'm able to provide opportunities not for just like people like yourself who work hard and want to come under Underneath the banner, but we want to be like giving away a bunch of really cool shit. And yeah, like even rocking up to someone in, in their house and dropping off a fuckload of clothes will be a cool vibe for me. Yeah, and that's what makes me feel good. And I just want to turn it into. Uh, I just want that to be a part of our business as well. Like you look at the Nelk boys; they give away cars and shit, man. Uh, who, say, really who says that we it. can't give away a fucking car in a year? Yeah, like you know what I mean. Imagine giving that to a, a family that needs it or. Um, just a diehard YKTR fucking tradie who <laughs> needs a UU. Yeah, UU. stuff like that, man. And like some of the messages, and I, I won't, I won't say some of the messages that we get. Um, but around like people dying and stuff, like yeah. that's the type of the impact that this brand can have, where like, they're wearing YKTR when they're yeah. getting put in a like coffin. Yeah, I don't yeah. Want to fucking put out names or anything, bro. Yeah. But that's the type of impact that I want to have, and then. Us as a brand, be in a position where we can give start giving away a fuckload of things and change people's lives. That'd be fucking cool to me. Doozy Club, man. We so we can't wait. We're we're very excited that it's just launching. Like this, this has been something that we probably well we, we were hoping to do a few weeks ago, and we just thought fuck it, we bit of a mad push in the last week. Yeah. Um, but it's there, it's ready, it's rolling, and once you sign up, you're literally part of the team. So yeah, we'll so be collecting numbers as well. So there's going to be a lot of like we, we'll be texting you. you where Discord's going to be another part of that, which we'll touch on probably not on this show, but over the next couple of days. Yeah, Discord Discord's getting bu- get being built out, so you'll have a direct access to, to um, you. me, Jax, all the boys and stuff like that. Won't be like, fuck, come text us all the time and go, hey boys, what you're up to? But <laughs> How's when, your we, day? when we start to make announcements or like say, say a part of being at the Doozy Club is like when mystery boxes and all our sales come on, you guys like, we'll just text you, hey, here's the password for the website. 10 minutes early yeah that's the game changer <laughs> <laughs> I said to you I said of all the it won't be it won't be every I'm, I just know. Gonna, I'm gonna yeah. let you know now it's not gonna be every collection because um, we just kind of want that to be fair yeah um, they're usually the six o'clock and it's a mad rush but some of those big ones like the black I'm planning something special for the Black Friday as well mm. um, that's gonna be fucking vibey so you guys are gonna have early access to that so it's kind of like a VIP membership shit like it's gonna be cool and it's just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger mm. So if you're in early, you get a chance to win free YKCR clothes for a year. Fuck, that's fucking vibey enough as it is. But all that other stuff that's going to come with it is going to be cool. And like we kind of haven't dove too much into the exclusive content side of it, but there's multiple elements of that as well. Um, both from Isaac's standpoint, Semi, Scope, uh, myself and Lukey as a brand as well. So there's going to be not just additional behind the scenes content, there's actually going to be whole shows that we only put up for doozy members, extended vlogs. So for example, um, the Magic Bender you might get an extended version of that, sort of the old mm. director's cut, sort of stuff like that. So we're p- pretty much just going to give you more um, new shit as well in the way of content. Do you know what's? Do you know what's actually really cool when you when you actually work here? Like, say we do podcasts and everyone gets to see the front end of the podcast. The ten minutes or the twenty minutes before the podcast is kind of the really interesting conversation. So, uh, man, I'll I'll just get Caleb with a camera with a microphone on and cruising around and like it's just real behind the scenes raw shit. It's dropping it in the doozy club. Yeah, and like a lot of times I jump on the podcast and after we finish, like fuck, I wish the start of it was on there as well. So, man, like obviously we're talking about this a lot, but um, yeah. the the core basics are there. 
Um, but just it's gonna it's gonna get bigger and bigger. I just want to grow it out. It's a nineteen ninety five a month subscription model. Jump in, join the Doozy Club. Um, it's going to be special. And and listen, if you if you're still hesitant and you want to learn more, sit back, watch, see how this thing fucking bubbles, and then jump in later. But you're not going to want to miss out because we've got some pretty special things planned. Mm. But you touched on the staff. You touched on the young kid, Caleb. Um, what's been going on with the boys at the moment? Yeah, Caleb's been good. Um, super talented at what he does. Just he's, you tell he's 18. Like Hard. yeah, sometimes <laughs> I sit there and like, I remember being at that age and like say I walked into Ivan Cleary's yeah. office and like you know just to sit there and they just shake their head like like what are you doing? <laughs> he just he just does some some random stuff like that. And it's only small things, but as what, a whole, knowing who Dan Carter is, that's not small. Yeah, so fuck. He, he asks who Dave Chappelle was the other day as well. <laughs> is he good? Um, he just asks some stupid questions. And then man. we laugh and he goes, oh, is he Kiwi? <sighs> <Stop>. <laughs> um, but yeah, like just a small stuff. Like he'll forget his hard drive or he'll sleep in. Yeah. Like just that 18-year-old <laughs> shit. And he goes, oh, I forgot my hard drive, which had all the content on it. And I was going, would you go to footy without boots? He goes, no. He goes, but I was meant to pack it. I was like, yeah, but you didn't. He goes, but I was meant to. I said that yesterday. It's a competition between me and Caleb. Who's got more excuses yeah, when they fuck up? You aren't, aren't <laughs> far off each other. Nah, but Caleb's been awesome, man. Yeah. He obviously loves it. Um, I pay attention to like everything he says and stuff as well. I think you sort of picked that up about me. If someone says something, I'll be like, Shh. Mm. I don't really forget it. But he says a lot of cool things. So I think uh, you get away with it and then you bring it up a month later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got a photographic memory. <laughs> so Nah, Caleb's been awesome. Um, yeah, as you can see, all our video content's gone up. And it's just someone who can focus on video and that's his sole job. Yeah. Like a lot of the times, like you've got four or five hats to wear, so do I, so does Lukey. Um, I think it starts to dilute we're everyone's video, we're work. Videoing in between almost. Yeah. So you're like, Caleb, video this, and this is what I want, want it to look like, bro. And he just goes bang, bang, bang. And it was the it pillar out. of you, Chico, and normally starting this whole thing was vlogging. So yeah. it makes sense that it's probably, it should be the strongest arm of our content. Like at the moment, the podcasting is the strongest arm of our no, content. I think podcast should be our strongest arm. Yeah. So, yep. Because it's gravitating towards the future. Like like. We film it, so it's the same shit. <laughs> yeah, but you look you look at Logan Paul, David Dobrik, anyone in that sort of space. Yeah, um, They've all gone from vlogging into podcasting. So I think we're trending in the right direction, but it's still an important yeah. aspect. It's storytelling. It's storytelling. So video is always going to be important. Yeah. What about the other two? They, uh, usually, they usually cop a bit of a hammering on this show. Nah. Give me something. I've got, I've got <laughs> nothing to bag them about at all. So. Fuck, I've got a bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've kind of passed on Simi to you. So, <laughs> <laughs> nah, but Simi's been awesome. Um, his content's really starting to shine through as well. Yeah. Um, from front end, like from a from a spectator, for what you guys are, like uh, his content's always sort of been good. Mm. Sort of behind the scenes, he can feel a little bit erratic, but he's kind of eliminated that from his game at the moment. And you can just see it. You can just you can feel it. You can, it feels organized. It feels planned. Um, there's still room for Simi to be Simi. Yeah, but everything else is just like. Like I said to him, I was like, bro, I want 70% of it, 80% of it structured. And then yeah. that 20%, bro, be semi, be willy-nilly, willy nilly, be reactional. Yeah. But like any good team, any good fucking business has structure behind it. And yeah. there's always that room for creativity. And I think with him and Scope, we're kind of leaning the other way where Scope used to rock up and then sit there. Like he'll sit down here. So we're about to shoot a podcast mm -hmm. right now. He'll sit down and just start jotting down ideas. Mm. Uh, and we got we got to a point where we had a meeting. We're like, boys, this isn't good enough anymore. Like, if we want to go from like here to here, like we have to be planned out. We, we want to be organised. We want to be diving in. And um, he's been fucking awesome as well. Um, nice balanced lifestyle at the moment. Scope. Yeah. He's training really hard. He's obviously happy with his partner. So he's just going home. Yeah. Like, um, and that that stuff's important as well. So when he comes to work, he, he works and then he cruises. Yeah. So he's we we not, not fighting with the boys at home. Yeah, <laughs> not not fighting and tinning the kids. So um, yeah, he's good. So and I kind of shifted. Like I've I've talked about this on before, where I was trying to time manage him. Yeah, where it's probably not the right way to work off creatives. So like no. just do your fucking work and fuck off home. If Scope knows what he's doing, he does it. Yeah, I see. Like, and then he fucks off. Yeah. yeah. And that's Scope, like, he'll do, like, he'll do exactly what you tell you, but exactly. he, he, he yeah. won't do, he won't do, like, any more or any less. No, nah, but if you tell him to do more and more and more, he just keeps doing yeah, it. Yeah, agree, <laughs> agree. So, like I said um, on yesterday, like, you're a good back row, you do what you're told. Does what you're told. Yeah. yeah. And he's, he he does. run a line. <laughs> <laughs> scope, get me there. Yeah. And he'll do it for you. So, um, yeah, no complaints about the boys. They've been awesome. So, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, I don't either. As much as he uh, pisses me off, my, my old. Big brother back there, he goes all right, Simi. He's gone too far in the structure game now. It's fucking me off. He's gone from complete willy nilly. He swung into like more structured than me. Yeah. And he says just to me, he's like, "Oh, well, that was a ten, wasn't it?" And I was like, "Oh, was it?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll put it in the calendar." Yeah. Fucking hell, man. Well, I'm not sure about the physio <laughs> reports on the Oracle. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, I was saying, I was saying um, yesterday he fucking. I, I, I don't know what he was doing because you know he has his headphones on. You never know what the fuck he's doing. 
And I, I knew that he was preparing for his podcast, but I was like, what does that actually look like? I looked over, he's got like three screens with all the graphs going, the stats going, he's it's making good. notes. He got 50% the Oracle, of his tips right. So, the or- But I'm jumping on with the Oracle this week. I am missing it. So, um, But we did mention off the top of the show that we are in the BSC content studios. A few people have been kind of asking about what that means other than just the boys getting supplements, which we're very grateful for. <laughs> um, but talk us, talk us through that deal. Um, so what is it? So obviously we're in a spot now where our content's really, really good and um, advertisers are looking to jump on and I'm quite selective with who we bring in. I know Barstool aren't, like they just kind of do ad reads willy-nilly and um, it's a big revenue stream for them as well. But I knew I always wanted a, it's like a naming rights sponsor. So if you think of a stadium, like stadiums get named from businesses and stuff like that. Sadie's Benz done. Yeah, stuff like that. So this is all it is. So I've seen it on 100 Thieves, which is a esports team over in LA and they've got the cash app. Um, content studio yeah so um well i just knew that it was a good spot for like a business like bsc to jump on we had a few people that were interested in it um uh, but that i think the alignment was just perfect with us yeah. it doesn't cannibalize our products in any way shape or form because we don't sell what supplements does what does that mean cannibalization like, means like um like you wouldn't be sponsored by like another clothing company or nah, yeah, nah. Yeah. so like even though i promote tell you boys like you've got your own yeah. stuff like that that is kind of person. <laughs> yeah i'm wearing like one of my friends brands as well yeah. like but it doesn't really take away from anything it yeah. adds to it as well so a lot of the, this is super old school way of doing business yeah. where um, like a lot of businesses back in the day wouldn't collab with, a, with another clothing brand because that might take their customers away. Yeah. So um, then that's what sort of, and cannibalization is like, like say if we got um, hoodies that always sell and then we bring in a new product, but it takes away from that. Yeah, you know I mean? right. Yeah, so okay, I get it. Yeah, 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 that's what cannibalization is. Um, so Sorry, yeah. as you were, I was just. Yeah, that, that, I'm a th- I feel like the lineup was always perfect. Yeah. Um, I had a lot of conversations with, with the two owners uh, it felt everything felt organic from from meeting after meeting after meeting. I told them what we were trying to do. Um, to be fair, they got it at a really good price because mm. I said, like they've signed on for a year, so this is the BSC Content Studio for a year. Um, I, I set the fee. They yeah. agreed to it straight away. Signed off on it straight away. Yeah. But the thing, nah. But the thing is, like this can move into a lot of other things as yeah. well. So say if we were on a three on three basketball competition with the NRL, yeah. I'm like. I negotiated the deal, so if anything else comes in, like they'd have to pay on top of that as yeah, well from yeah. from our end. Yeah. So it's like might be the B on BSC YKTR Sports, yeah. like three on three basketball comp or yeah. something like that. So just starting to move into that sort of space as well. But I said like if we start bringing on a fuckload more shows, the price doesn't go up. We're, I've yeah. got a set fee. It's not based off the back of CPMs. Um, so I think this time next year we'll have. At least another five people underneath our banner Easy. making content. Yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously, if we move into a bigger spot as well, and it's a might be a size of this whole office, it's just a content studio. It's still going to be the BSC content studio. So yeah. um, smart move on their play as well. Like they're thinking ahead. They're a brand that's been around for since '99. Yeah. So they're looking for really? new, yeah they're looking for new ways to sort of innovate. And um, like I said, bro, I was like, when I said to, I was like, bro, we we make the best content. Yeah. We make the best, and we make a fuckload of it. Like. Put your brand in front of it. Yeah. Mm. So See where the value's at, yeah. Yeah. So like this, like I said, it's been a super organic relationship. Um, whenever their new products start to come in, they pretty much got free reign. So they might drop a new SKU, a new product in about four or five weeks and they'll yeah. be, hey, I, I want you guys to push. They'll give it to me to try first or yeah. us to try. Obviously, we've got a fuckload of BC content. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we try it. And if I like it, I'll, I'll do an ad for them. Cool. And basically, what I'm that ultra shred that I've been having at the moment, I have it every morning. Like, I love that shit. I believe yeah. it. I believe in the product. Yeah, so, so do I. Yeah. I'm not fucking pushing shit just for because we're getting the parents' <laughs> fee on it. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's been a great relationship. I think business is important. Like everyone, I try to go into business with. I try. I like over deliver almost. Eh? Over deliver, yeah. but also when you want to have a healthy relationship with them. You don't, you don't have to be fucking best mates. Yeah, yeah. And text each other every day, but I think there's got to be a mutual respect there, and uh, there is between BSC and us. So yeah. Yeah, so, um, and rolling into something, there's no easy segue here, she knows, mm. <laughs> it's just next on the agenda, uh, it's obviously something we've been teasing for a little while, um, I remember actually probably about maybe a year ago, um, someone sort of posed a question to you, well you've probably always been posed a question, would you ever do girl stuff, and you've kind of always said, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. you kind of went def- definitive on it, but um, in the last probably 18 months there's been a shift there, Yeah, and, nah, because she knows. The, th- the thing with it was, is like I only associated our- ourselves as a clothing brand then. So yeah. if I'd done it as a um, like girl stuff straight away, it, w- it felt cash grabby to me. Like, yeah. oh, I'm just trying to make more money. So I'm doing girl clothes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and like it'd probably work, but 
I just knew if we marketed the same shit the way we market YKTR, it probably wouldn't work. So me and Jade Spoon are obviously like brought pretty close and we've always talked about doing a business together. Yeah. I'm not saying this is going to be it, but there's there's going to be a cross coll- co- um, cross collab there somewhere yeah. in terms of entrepreneurship. So I think she knows would be a great thing because she's into health. She's got a tech background. She yeah. can build apps and stuff like that. She's into marketing. So we kind of see business in the same sort of light. So there might be a good little marriage there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she knows we're dropping clothes for that pretty soon. Um the, snow, the 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 straightaway effect off the back of it is like we, we got girls that rock YKTR anyway, oh, so yeah, we're going to manu- another tag post, man. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to manufacture a product that is tailored towards females, yeah. and you've seen the samples so, so. of the next stuff, and obviously your wife tried them on and yeah. she loves them. Obviously needs a few changes and shit like that, but pretty close. It looks yeah. fucking sick. It looks so sick. <laughs> it looks sick. It looks sick. It looks like us. But then on top of that, I want to build um, the female version of YKTR. Yeah. In terms of media. So I know I got three girls that are ready to podcast and yep. be the simmy, be the scope, be the ice, be yep. the Jackson um, of the female version of that mm. and build on top of that as well. So that's kind of the strategy. It's kind of copy and paste of what we're doing with YKTR and putting it over here. And it's content tailored to, to those interests, right? So the she knows, I think the reason you love that sort of tagline so much is because it's open to anything. It can yep. be she knows health, it can be she knows business she knows money yes, you're basically just sport. giving away she my uh, marketing <laughs> <laughs> but you know what i mean no nah, that's it that's yeah, yeah, it, yeah yeah and it's like you know the rules is kind of catchy too like yeah. fuck i'm gonna get after it this morning you know the rules <laughs> like it's, got, it's kind of got that punchy line and i yeah. thought she knows when i was running because obviously she, like she knows the rules is the first one we're gonna go with yeah but like you said she knows health so i want to get a um content creator who's female um who talks about podcasts or do content on health yeah and i've got three girls already lined up already um, and all of them have been on one of our podcasts anyway. Obviously, Jade Spooner would be like yeah. the female version of me where she yeah. interviews business people. She's a lot more successful than me as well. So I go to her th- to advice. Um, Didi Zabara. Didi Zabara was – she was a nutrition one on yeah. my podcast a while ago. I don't she, think I listened to that one. She's into like um, like menstrual cycles and like all yeah. that sort of stuff like and hormones and – um, me and her have been talking like a little bit and she's like one of our oldest friends yep. since I've been in Sydney. So she, um, she, she wants to start doing content as well. And obviously Jade LaFlay, she was on, yeah. she's my friend. She lives around the corner from me. We work she's out. way cooler than all of us. Yeah, she's, <laughs> nah, she's right. I'm, I'm cooler than Jade. <laughs> she's way too vibrant. But she loves music and culture and she's opinionated. Yeah. So, I, I, and like, we've got a tongue in cheek thing about women here. Yeah. With our content, um, very much how like Justin Layboy, like we just pay it out. Like, yeah. Girls think silent treatments. Like, <laughs> it's yeah. not anti woman. It's just yeah. like we just take the piss yeah. out of it because it's cheeky. funny. Yeah. yeah, being cheeky. And some people take offense of it to yeah. it. Um, it is it is what it is. But we want to build She Knows as like a pro woman plat- platform. Yeah. So uh, it's kind of the same business model. And you just go same business model, clothing copy. and content tailored towards that. Yeah. yeah. And the big part is if we can really get our sales humming. So yeah. when people come in, they're, they're getting like paid straight away for what they're doing. So. Yeah. That's an important part because sometimes if they don't believe, so you came over here because you believed in what we're doing. Yeah, um, it's different when you're like forced you to. Hey, find you're going to try to start this thing? <laughs> could she know? So yeah, obviously yeah. you want money in the system that can do it, and potentially this Doozy Club could and help facilitate that as well. So yeah, it's building a media company. Um, yeah, uh, that's pro woman. Yep. It doesn't have to be anti men or anything like that, but right. there could be a tongue in cheek thing about it. Um, but it just want this beautiful unison of like balanced energy. So we're very guy orientated around here. Well, we want you content just, you creators. Want, if you want the sister to, school. If they're speaking to that, <laughs> it's Kelston boys and you want Kelston girls. We want the sister school. If they're speaking to that audience, it, it would be disingenuous for it to be you and I sitting here talking about it. It would be way better if it was Jade and. Yeah, you know, fuck, imagine you know us I mean? going like here and go, oh, fuck, childbirth. Yeah, like, there's, there's fuck, no that looks sore. There's no point. <laughs> there's <laughs> Girls no are going to go, shut the fuck up. There's no point. So, um, you know, we get the right people in the right places to do it and we put an amazing product like the She Knows merch behind it. Yeah. And then, fuck, it's the same business. Like you said, it's copy and paste. And it's like a separate entity as well. So yeah. then, like, obviously, got to have the conversations of, oh, fuck, we'd have put like, more money into it. Who, who's yeah. in it? So, me and Jade, um, I'm catching up with Jade after this, so... We've talked about this a lot, but it might be time to really nut it out. So we're going to yeah. be dropping clothes and we'll be banking on the back of female audience that follows YKTR and enjoys yeah. our content um, just to see if there's a taste for it. And if there is, we'll build it all out. And then that could eventually roll into tech. Yeah. So think of the Doozy Club, imagine that. Um, and then we, everyone knows that we're dropping active wear yeah. um, as well. And then that rolls into apps. So yeah. fuck, you, you sign up, you're already part of the Doozy Club. All right, there's a, here's a fucking, for an extra five bucks a week, you can get fucking yeah. free training. Yeah. So that's how I'm thinking. Yeah. Fuck up so excited for the doozy club. But we're yeah. going to stay, we've, we touched on that at the top, we're going to circle back down. Um, something else that happened last week that we kind of 
haven't had the chance to really touch on was the inner circle. <laughs> I just blindsided you with that, eh? You blindsided me as you do with fucking everything. You just go, I'm just going to launch it today, eh? I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is um, it ready? But it was ready. So how's it going? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, inner circle is very much like the doozy club, but more the only fans t- for me. Yeah. Like Ice Not, um, like the Ice, beyond the pro- Ice Project. So what it is, it's just going to be a, um, everything that I've learned over the past four or five years and anyone that's close to me, like you guys, like you can ask me a question whenever you want, mm. but like I just wanted something like a little bit cheaper. So the blueprint is like $500 right now yep. um, with the code lockdown because I just want everyone to be learning how to build a side business, all that sort of stuff. But Inner Circle is just going to be very much like the Doozy Club. It's the same strategy. So no, there's no coincidence that it's launching a week after each other. Yeah, It's, a, it's how can I provide an opportunity, um, a community that with people that fuck with me but want access to me without paying like for a consulting session with me it's seven fifty to to a thousand dollars. Yeah. To have a forty five minute session with me. So I wanted to do something a little bit cheaper. And all I'm doing is just saying the same shit that I'm saying. It's in all these. in the inner circle. <laughs> it's all in the inner circle. So, And a lot of people are like, oh, you're just trying to take money from people. I was like, nah, if you don't pay for stuff, you don't appreciate it. Yeah. And the knowledge that's going to be in there. So right now there's 23 videos in there. Um, I'll probably talk about the strategies behind subscription models pretty soon. Yeah. Um, we're talking about vlogging, podcasting. Uh, money's been the big one in there. It's not financial advice. It's sort of more thought process in and around money. Yeah. Um, it's just stuff that people that actually know me and they can actually have access to me. It's this type of knowledge I'll be passing on to them. Yeah. And we're similar to the doozy club, the inner circle will be getting added to constantly as well. So, mm. um, if you know us, you know that he doesn't have a fucking day without a new thought or a new idea. So we're pretty much just going to stick a camera on him and dump it in the inner circle. Yeah. Um, same with doozy club, but it's, it's, it's module specific. So like you said, we'll be, he'll be attacking podcasting, vlogging, um, you've sort of touched on the money one off the top, but and it's there's a no hub, limit it's to a what hub, it can be. It's a hub for content. Yeah. So a lot of the people, oh, bro, what was that podcast you did when um, you were talking about? It's in there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, the one I've done like three years ago. I don't yeah. know. So um, it's just going to be a library for whenever you need that access. You're just going to go back and forth. Very similar. Very good gi- giveaways as well. I'm giving away 500 bucks this week. Oh, yeah? yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, give away 500 bucks um, and then one-on-one consulting session. Yeah. So like like I said, like I wouldn't do a consulting session for less than 750 or or $1,000. So, so you get $1,500 value. Yeah, someone in there is going to get that as well. I'll give yeah. away a free YKTR clothes in the circle. Yeah. Um, a lot of times when I go for runs and then my tweets roll off the back of that, tweets hit really hard because they're short, sharp, and punchy. But the thought process behind that two sentence, yeah. I'll probably build that out into there as well. So we want to build a Discord community yeah. as well and I'll, I'll just be in there giving away. I post so much times during the day but I could post a fuckload more yeah. and, and I'm, I'm still going to give away 99% of my content or 95% of my content away for free but like that 5% is going to be... I, you know what I was thinking? I kind of half t- told you yesterday but we we're moving at a million miles an hour. You know I used to just come in here and sit on the couch and do coffee with ice and you'd yeah. just go Instagram live? Yeah. You should do that through Discord. Because you can do the live well, like chat rooms where basically you just go open to questions and people just, if you're a doozy club member or an inner circle member, whatever channel you're on, mm. people can just ask you questions. You sit down, have your coffee, pat yeah. mellow and ask questions. 100%. Gone. They'll be doing that. They'll be short, sharp, punchy. Yeah. And like say, say I'm like, I listen to a podcast, I'll, say, hey guys, I'll be on Discord go, hey guys, I just listened to this mad podcast. Yeah, Here's the link. link. Yeah, sick. Oh, I've just finished this fucking mad book. If you're into sports and, and neutral thinking, which I'm going to be touching on anyway, yeah. like, listen to this book. Listen to the audio version though. It's way better. Yeah. And it's the same shit I tell you guys. But it's just people paying sixty dollars a month, yeah. which is the price of a YKTR T-shirt. Yeah, that's that's how I've priced it. Yeah, um, and you get access to the person that fucking makes the clothes, <laughs> makes the clothes and build all the marketing behind it. Yeah. So I really want to double down on that community. It's going to build it out bigger and bigger. And if there's like people that really shine, like I'm, I'm not opposed to going. Oh, everyone everyone knows Danny's my accountant. But yeah. Like say clothing, and I can see someone killing it. I yeah. Fuck, I know suppliers. Yeah. I just don't throw. I just don't throw away this like knowledge willy nilly to yeah. people because I know they're probably going to get a no from the yeah. suppliers. But if I go to my supplier and I go, hey, I think trust this me, this guy's got something good. Yeah, yeah. this guy's got potential. He's got great marketing skills. Or yeah, um, you just want to be the people that like. I just want to be the person where I can point, point the person in the right direction. Yeah, like, hey, do you know anyone that does X? I'm like, yeah, that guy yeah. there. And I, I do. I do know those people. He helped me do that. Yeah, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. So that's what I'm um, in a circle is going to be, and it's all it is. It just differentiates. Um, the people that are in the inner circle that are paying for yeah. this knowledge, obviously you've seen how much I give away for free. Like, what do you think I'm going to do for concept of paying? Yeah. That's Probably a little bit. More. And it's like 60 bucks. Like yeah. That. And you can cancel anytime you want. So That's the same thing. And, and with both models, whether it's the bottom, which we top down the inner circle or at the top of Doozy Club, um, the value versus what you're paying yeah. is fucking astronomical. And on top of all of that, um, it's just an access that we haven't allowed before. We're still Nothing's going to change in the way of the content we already put out. 
fucking Inside YKTR is still coming out. Yeah. All of our shows are still coming out. You're still going to get so Scope Semi Vlogs. Nothing's changing. We're still giving away all of our content for free. But wait, if you wait. want more. So sorry, sorry. I was just thinking. In. But one of the most fucked up things about consulting is, and especially like the blueprint. Like yeah. I'll probably say about two or three things that are in the blueprint in the consulting session because I've only got 45 minutes. Yeah. Um, but because they're paying a lot more for it, they're like, oh shit, this, is, this must be more valuable. So yeah, there's, 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 <laughs> there's importance of paying for knowledge because you actually take it on. Yeah. So like, and then Blueprint's got like 50 videos in it. And then I'm like, in a consulting session where I charge twice as much, I'll say three of those things. Yeah. And it's weird, bro. Like I put out an email, I'll like, go save yourself a thousand bucks. Yeah. <laughs> like shit like that. I'm pretty transparent with fucking a lot of shit and that, that stuff's the very stand, transparent. The stands the test of time, man. That took me from selling 11 t-shirts on my Instagram stories yeah. to nice little Bunsen on the side for me. So but the other side, that can't. the other side of it as well, like people that have been in the blueprint, they were just waiting for more stuff, more and more and more, yeah. but they haven't executed on the OG yeah. stuff. So it's like, I'll give you a training program. Yeah. It's up to you if you really want to execute it. Yeah. You know what I mean? How so many PTs give out programs? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> so it's up to you as well, so. Yeah. Yeah. Doozer Club has officially launched. Thank you guys in advance for everyone who has signed up. If you're thinking about signing up or if you just want to keep fucking with our free content, stick around, but... Free content. <laughs> free content's always going to be around. Nothing changing. Ice Project, fucking YKTR, 90% of it's going to be free, but that 10% of any subscription model you want to jump in, um, there's always going to be value there as well. 10%, baby. All right, bro. All right, later. <laughs>